Okay, now let's talk about how files and file groups uh, affect storage. Uh, let's just make a fake database called test and just gonna keep everything um, default. <coughs> and let's just make a table in here. Well, let's just copy a table over from AdventureWorks. Um, Let's use person business entity. I think that one has a lot of data. Oh yeah. I mean not like a lot, but I can use that. Uh let's just stick that data into, into a brand new table. This just creates a table for you. Uh test. Alright. So now we have this data, right click, properties. Now the storage is primary. And let's just add a different file group in here. Right click on test, property, and go to file groups, add you know, secondary, and make that one default. And go to files. Add test two add test three. As you can see, it's going to secondary instead of primary. Okay. When you look at it in the data files, it looks like this. This is test original. This is the log files for it. For it. And these are the two the separate uh, files that we have just made. And let's also make another table in here with the exact same data. So the first one is going to right click storage, going to primary, but then the second one's going to secondary. So different files. Let's try to. Okay. Add some files and see how uh, rows and see how they grow. Um, let's see, insert into test one. And I think that's identity. So let's see if it actually runs. TBL test TBL one it should work. Okay, right now the size of um, that is four thousand KB, so four megabyte. Let's see. Let just add a couple more. Okay, now it grew to five thousand, and test is uh, I mean log is growing too, but that's how it behaves in full recovery mode. So five. Let's see. So you can see that it's growing. It started at four and went to five, and now six megabyte. And the same goes for uh, the other table as well. Table two, table two is property goes to secondary instead of primary. So let right now they are we have two files in there um, in secondary, and they're both three uh, three thousand KB. Let's throw some data in there and see how it changes. Now you can see that that one grew, this one didn't. Now they're both growing. They both started at three um, three thousand KB, but this one is now five thousand, and this was four thousand. So the, and they're both now five thousand. So this is how you um, handle growth of. Um, I just separate data into different data files and things like that using files and file groups. And at the same time, you can also see that log is growing because it's a it's in a full recovery mode. It's logging the whole thing, all well, the transactions that we just did at these twenty thousand row up pop. So let's just look and see. Uh, So the log space usage is 37, 10 megabyte, well 10 megabyte, 37, so we can probably shrink it a little, 
So right now it's looking like this. Test log to me. No oh. Okay. Let's see if we struggle with it. Yep, it did. Instead, now it's half the size. It was ten megabyte, but now it's five megabyte. Still being used 18%, so it can probably, yeah, shrink even more. 24. Now it's just 2 megabyte, but that's really too well. Yeah, that's too small, but then you can handle sizes and files, file group, and things like that. And you also want to, well, did I schedule? I think I showed how to schedule maintenance. Uh, log maintenance is very important and as well as full recovery and things like that. So that's basically how you handle files. Thank you for watching.